Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. d6 defends the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Moving from its starting spot, the knight gets involved in the game. This move opens the path for your bishop to enter the game. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. You developed your bishop on the long diagonal. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It's good to get your knight off of its starting square and into the action. The pawn is now adequately defended. You activate your knight by moving it from the starting square. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. Castling kingside is a great way to protect your king and develop. This ignores an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. Pawns can't move backwards. You're putting your king's safety at risk. This threatens to tactically win a pawn. Smart move reinforcing your pawn with extra protection. Right on target. You overlooked an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. Yes, this is the way. That leaves a bishop open to being captured. You won material by capturing that bishop. This loses material. You overlooked an opportunity to win material through a tactic. This is an equal trade. You take back. This kicks a knight. You are threatening to win a rook through a fork. This defends the attacked pawn. You ignored an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. This is the strongest option. This isn't a mistake, but there was something better for you. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. Very good choice. After all captures, this is an equal trade. You trade off equal material. Recaptures. Oops, you gave up a pawn. That was a free pawn. You're going to end up losing a bishop. This wins material. You missed an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This misses an opportunity to tactically win a bishop. You allowed the opponent to win a bishop through an eventual fork. This misses a better way to tactically win a bishop. You dodge the check, moving your king out of harm's way. This is the only good move. The knight moves forward into the game. This is called development. You miss the only move in a critical position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten checkmate. You are threatening to win a bishop through an eventual fork. This allows the opponent to win material by pinning a piece. That pin will win material. This threatens to play checkmate. You found the right idea by sacrificing your knight. This wins a pawn. Takes back. Nice, definitely the right move. This misses a better way to develop a rook off its starting square. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. 
You ignored an opportunity to kick a bishop. You permitted the opponent to kick a bishop. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. You missed an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. You allowed the opponent to kick a bishop. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a bishop. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. You attack a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. This move puts the rook on a safer square. Well done, an excellent move. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. Putting your rook behind your passed pawn can help protect the pawn on its way to promotion. The bishop is kicked by a pawn and must now move or be captured. You found a safer square for your bishop. Very precise. This moves your bishop to a safer square. 